In this video, we're going to discuss expressing concentration, and we're going to go over seven different ways that concentration is typically expressed when we're talking about solutions. And you'll be expected to be able to interconvert back and forth between all of these, and this will set the foundation for all the example problems that we're going to do. So the first way we express concentration is percent by mass. Okay? And what we mean by percent by mass, if you see that a solution is 5% NaCl by mass, what this means is that we have 5 grams of NaCl in 100 grams of solution. So percent by mass, 5% means you have 5 grams of NaCl in 100 grams of the solution. Okay. The next way to express concentration is percent by volume. If we said we have 11% C2H5OH or 11% ethanol by volume, this means that we have 11 milliliters of ethanol in 100 milliliters of solution. All right, so it, percent by volume, percent by mass are, are two very common ways we'll express concentration. The third is one that we discussed back in chapter four, which is molarity. And molarity is abbreviated with a capital M, okay? Molarity is expressed in moles of solute per liter of solution. And one thing to note about molarity is this is dependent on the temperature. In addition to molarity, there's also something called molality and it's abbreviated with a lowercase m. This is moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. And this is independent of temperature. And if we have a very, very dilute solution, the molarity and the molality are roughly going to be equal to each other. But at high concentrations, these two can differ quite dramatically. The next way to express concentration is called the mole fraction. And the mole fraction helps to describe all solution components on a mole basis. And typically we say the mole fraction of component I. So this is typically expressed as Xi is going to be equal to moles of component I divided by the total moles of all components. The next two concentration units that we'll see are parts per million, which are abbreviated PPM, and a part per million is going to be equal to either the weight or volume of solute divided by 
the weight or volume of the solution. And we need to take this and multiply by 10 to the sixth. And one part per million is going to equal one gram of solute per 10 to the six grams of solution. And this is also equivalent to one milligram of solute per liter of solution. And this typically comes into play with a lot of environmental type issues where our concentrations are extremely, extremely small. The last one, very similar to part per million, is part per billion, which is abbreviated PPB. And this is one gram of solute per 10 to the ninth grams of solution. So these are the main ways we're going to express concentration throughout this chapter and throughout the remainder of the textbook in the course. So make sure you know how to convert, interconvert between each of these units and, and, and do plenty of sample problems to convince yourself and, and to illustrate the points of, of each of these concentration units.